Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to make an interactive table of contents on Google Slides. Now the benefit of making an interactive table of contents is this will turn each of these lines into a clickable link that will take you to the different chapters. For instance, if I click on chapter one, it's going to take me down here to the first slide of chapter one uh, titled Dogs. Now you could have several slides within that chapter underneath that the link will only take you to the first page. So it's kind of handy. You could set it up to do a lot of different things um, in your presentations. There is one other trick, and that is how to get back to the table of contents. So we're going to cover both parts in this video. The first thing is we're going to learn how to turn these into links. So you're going to highlight one chapter at a time, and you're going to come up here to the Insert Link button. And you're going to select that, and then you're going to decide where to attach that link. Now, it automatically comes up now to detect the um, slide three, chapter one dog. So all I have to do is click on that, and then that, in, that link is inserted. Now, when I present, I'm going to present real fast. When I click on, see, it's a clickable link now. When I click on chapter one, poof, it takes me to dogs. Okay? So that's how that works. So I'm going to do each one of these lines, chapter two cats, insert link and see Google Slides have got has gotten intuitive and now it senses where that chapter title slide is. So all I have to do is click on that. Used to be you have to select in a link in this presentation, but that now they've skipped that. So it makes it a little bit easier. So each one of these, I'm just going to simply add that link. It also helps to get this set up ahead of time with your titles. That's what's triggering this is the titles. So chapter four ferrets makes it very easy. Chapter five hamsters. Chapter six lizards. I intentionally put in ferrets for a certain student I know. I know you'll love that one. And chapter seven horses. Whoops. Now that gets a little bit tricky because I'm zoomed in for the purposes of the video, but when I'm zoomed in and I go to that, you can barely see it. So I'm going to have to like lower or even turn the, the um, show speaker notes off to make my slide a little bit bigger. And then it comes up the right way. So chapter seven horses. So all of my links are now in. I'm going to present real fast and just double check them. See my horses go to horses. But now I can't get back to the table of contents without closing the, pre the presentation. And we're going to fix that in just a minute. So I just wanted to quickly just do a spot check. Okay, so my links appear to be working right. Now, I want to be able to get back to the table of contents. And there's a couple of easy ways you can do. I'm going to come down to the snipping tool. If you're on a Chromebook, just use your screenshot tool, your screenshot selector tool. But on a Windows PC, you're going to use a snipping tool. And I am going to snip out my interactive table of contents and turn it into a picture. All right, so there we go. I'm going to copy that image, and then I'm going to go to Chapter 1, and I'm going to paste it in. Now watch what happens. It's way too big. I'm going to shrink it down because what we're going to do is we're going to put it off to the side. Whoops. My mouse is really, I got a new mouse and that right click is really sensitive. We're going to put it off to the side and make it really small, but it's going to be clear that that's a table of contents. And then we're going to highlight that little image and we're going to go up to the insert link again. And this time we're going to go to slides in this presentation and we're going to go to slide two, my interactive table of contents. Now that object should be clickable and will take you to this page. And now we need a button. I call this a button. We're going to copy and paste this. So control C. And then on each slide, we're going to paste it into the bottom corner. Just as easy as this. It's so easy and quick. And now we have a return button on every slide. Isn't that amazing? And now we can go back and forth. So let's start by running our presentation again. 
I'm going to go to that table of contents, and this time I'm going to check on ferrets. And here's my ferrets chapter, and now I can click on the interactive table of contents and go back and forth. And I can now go to the lizards chapter and back. If somebody asked about dogs, I can go to dogs and back. And now I can go to the horses. And your time, your table of contents is now interactive and totally useful in a presentation where you may have questions or you may want to skip around. Um, it's got a lot of uses. If you're doing your senior project and you want to be able to skip to different chapters in case people ask questions, you know, there's always a question an answer period at the end, you may want to set something like this up with your um, presentation just so you can easily field any question and zip right back to that chapter. So a lot of different uses for this. So I right, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.